So I'm just adding Fusion Cache right here at the top on line four. And then from there, we're able to access it through dependency injection on our minimal API. So line 10 here, you can see that I have iFusion Cache, and then I have the cache reference coming in that we can work with. Now, in this example, it is just going to be the Weather Forecast app. If you've made an ASP.NET Core application in Visual Studio before, this is the very basic thing that they put together for you out of the box. What we're going to be doing is that we have this factory method right here, and that means that when our entry is not found in the cache based on this key that we have on line 13, I'm just calling it cache key. This would be a little bit more complicated or custom tailored in your application, but in this one, it's just going to be called cache key. If it's not found, we'll call the factory method. We'll go look at that in just a moment. But the other thing to note is that I'm going to be setting the is fail safe enabled property here on the fusion cache entry options. What exactly is fail safe here? Well, if I jump over to the documentation website for Fusion Cache, they have a very good explanation. And in fact, a lot of their documentation is really good with examples and pictures. So I think if you need a little bit more information or want to dive deeper on this kind of stuff, their documentation is great. And like I said, even for the other features in Fusion Cache, you should be able to check out their docs. And I think they do an awesome job. In a nutshell, the fail safe method allows us to be able to have a fallback cache entry if we were to expire something. And that's because in more complex distributed systems, if we were to expire a cache entry or it has expired naturally based on the time setting that we have, if something is going to go fetch the new value, so calling our factory method, if that downstream service ends up throwing an exception for some reason, and we originally had something there in the cache that had just expired, we do have this opportunity to say, okay, even though we failed fetching the new value, let's just return to our caller the last one that was there. So we are saying that we're going to give our caller a stale value. This might not be okay in every scenario, which is why it's an option. So this is a fallback opportunity that if you do have a problem, that we can go back to some stale value. And that way, at least the service is not disrupted or your API call is not disrupted. And then someone can continue even though the value is stale.